evening, old dreadlord. How has your latest campaign of pillaging gone? Excellent to hear, old dreadlord. The thought of your ruthlessly despoiling defenseless villages fills me with joy. Fine, my lord. I'll calm down. I just thought you deserved a warm welcome, that is all. Of course. The entire house has been cleaned top to bottom, the garden has been maintained just the way you like it, and, most importantly, everything's in place for the yearly Hallow's Eve festivities. I've been hard at work to get it all prepared for the last three months. It took a ton of effort. A skeleton. The drums? Hmm. Oh, yes, those drums. I'd hoped to have an entire band set up to play some nice music for this special night. Maybe some of that fancy stuff that came from those lands you raced two years ago. But the drums were all I had time for. My most sincere apologies, my lord. Well, you must excuse me. I'm the only butler in this large mansion. If you want more done around the house, you should consider raising more frolls. Nevertheless, I'm sure the festivities planned will please you. I can feel it in my boats. Not a fan of the drums, my lord. On second thought, I think I should have started with a different instrument. Something more suited to being played alone. Perhaps the trombone? Oh, I see. No music in general next time. That is fine. I have to admit I don't have the stomach for music either. Okay, fine. I'll quit the puns, my lord. Now, where was I? Ah, today is Hallow's Eve, my lord, a time of great celebration for you. It is, after all, remembering the day that you finally conquered this land and turned it into your personal domain of death. Then, in a stroke of genius, I might add, you raised the champion of this land as your personal servant. I'm still thankful for the day that you, master of death, allowed me to serve you forever in unlife. On this day, we celebrate. I have an amazing feast set up just for you, but first... I know you do not need to eat, but you can, and I know you will enjoy my cooking like you did over the last 156 years, my lord. You still don't trust it? I've been defeated over a century ago. I don't have a bone to pick with you anymore. Nothing but loyalty. Sorry. Had to do it. No, I haven't poisoned your food. Last time I tried that was, what, 96 years ago? Didn't even work, you don't have to eat, remember? These days I don't have the guts for it. I did not even make that one on purpose, my lord. Well then, shall we move to the dining hall? The food is getting cold. Ta-da! A feast fit for a dreadlord such as yourself. The dishes I decided to cook are specifically chosen to please a powerful dreadlord such as yourself. Let us begin with this light soup as an entree. It's made from fresh chicken stock, with carrots and celery added for flavour. Then we have our entree. Taken from the most beautiful somberfied cows of all your lands, marinated and roasted to perfection, Juicy spare ribs. No, it wasn't a joke, my lord. These are actual spare ribs. I may have made a mistake. Moving on. For our dessert, I baked an amazing cake. I spent weeks trying to get the decorative scene of our climactic battle right, my lord. I hope it pleases both your eyes and your taste buds. I can see your hesitation. Again, it has been 150 years, my lord. I lost that day. First, I wanted to take my revenge, but over time it dawned that if I were to kill you, I would crumble to dust instantly. And since you raised me with my free will intact, you cannot simply dismiss me as you can a common zombie. I have no reason to be bad to the bone. No. I think my centuries of loyal service prove that the only bone in me that acts up sometimes is my funny bone. 
Oh, where would you be without my splendid sense of humor, my lord? I know that every time you come back home from campaigning, it reinvigorates you. Why else do you keep saying you wish to be away from here back in the field within an hour of arriving? Your words would hurt me, O oh Dreadlord, if I didn't have such thick skin. Actually, I don't have any skin at all. If I can be honest with you, my lord, I agree. It was funny at first, but now the drummer's getting a bit of my nerves as well. Too bad the binding spell lasts all day, so we're stuck with it. Let us just get back to the food, okay? It is getting cool. It's far more enjoyable if it's warm, and you will enjoy it. I can feel it in my bones. Wait, I used that one already. My lords, please don't destroy the drum set. I worked so hard on finding it. Do you know how difficult it is to find proper instrument in a land of death and despair? Almost impossible, I tell you. Now then, please enjoy my cooking skills. And if I may impose a bit, take your time, please. I wouldn't want you to rush through it and then leave again. Being here, maintaining the house all by myself, it can all get a little bit... bonely. My lord, don't go. The food will get cold. Still worth it. 